I'm Chris Martin. And I'm Jerry Herb. We're getting down to the brass tacks and hard facts of setting up for flow testing. Many times when you're in a test mode like this, you hear reference to the 1962 standard. It's an NFPA standard that's designed to cover the care, use, inspection, service and replacement of hose, nozzles, couplings, and appliances. The standard might be used when you're in testing evaluating for hose and nozzles. It might be used when you're setting up pump discharge pressures or testing brand new equipment before you can put it into service. There's a portion of that standard that covers systems testing, and that's where we're gonna go deep today. And primarily, the entire system is normally measured by pressure. And pressure in this case is nothing other than the energy that's delivering a flow. So if our objective is to achieve a target flow and test our system to make sure that we're getting that flow, we have to get a little bit more flow-minded as opposed to pressure-minded. This type of flow test will also help you identify such hose issues as delaminated hose, where the inner liner separates from the outer jacket. This won't show up on a hydrostatic test. Today we're gonna to test 200 foot of inch and three quarter hose. There's a couple different instruments we're gonna to need to measure flow and pressure. The first will be an inline flow meter. We'll put that on the intake side of the engine. So we have 50 foot of two and a half coming off the hydrant into the flow meter, and then another 50 feet going into the suction intake. This way the flow meter is now on the ground. Everybody can see the results. We wanna open that suction intake fully. We don't wanna open our tank to pump. Basically, we're gonna send the water into our pump, speed it up, and send it out the other side. By putting it on the intake side, it does a couple things for us. First of all, I don't have to keep moving the flow meter if I wanna check multiple discharges. Second of all, there will be friction loss in the flow meter, it is an appliance. So by putting it on the intake side, the friction loss is accounted there and not my attack package. Within the 200 foot of the inch and three quarter, we're gonna put three inline pressure gauges. One of those will be right at the engine where the hose connects to the swivel. The next one will be 100 feet away, right in the middle of the 200 foot, and the last one will be right behind the nozzle. We're gonna gather a whole bunch of numbers and we'll break those down for you of what they mean, the impact they might have on your fire attack package, and different friction losses and flows and how they correlate. As you can see, the setup of the deck is very deliberate. In the next episodes, we'll go deep into each point of measurement and how it's gonna impact our objective.